2022, the start of a new year and a new chapter in the ongoing pandemic. The U.S. has surpassed another grim milestone Monday. More than 61 million COVID-19 cases have been recorded since the pandemic began. As the world opened up amid Omicron, we continued to grapple with surges, shortages, and inflation. The latest consumer price index shows inflation rose at the highest rate in nearly four decades last year. Cleveland was also beginning a new era. I, Justin Morse, as the city's 58th mayor started his first term. This is our time. This is our moment. Let's keep fighting for the promise of what Cleveland can be together. A February winter storm kicked off our snow coverage. This snow will continue for about the next six hours, everybody. It stretches from the Lone Star State all the way up through Maine. Now you can see in Akron, my goodness, low visibility here. And an all-star celebration put the city in the spotlight. It's all-star weekend as thousands pour into our city. A lot of them newcomers. We remember today that forever changed a community. You have to say their names. Danny, Russell, Demetrius. And now, 10 years later, devastation. 10 people dead tonight and three others injured in a mass shooting at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York. And what is another sad, troubling and disturbing night in America? Tonight, there is a new death toll after a shooting rampage at a Texas elementary school. As mass shootings brought more unimaginable loss across the country. Around the globe, we all watched as Russia invaded Ukraine and faced unexpected resistance. This is our soil. This is our country. This is our people. And Putin has nothing to do here. 2022 saw unprecedented changes in law. It is an historic day in the United States. Roe versus Wade, the law of the land for nearly 50 years, guaranteeing women the constitutional right to an abortion has been overturned. Sparking demonstrations near and far. But a lot of people still today, after hearing the actual news revealed, they're feeling sad, they're feeling angry, and as you can see behind me, they're also fired up. And here in Akron, a community in protest. Mourning the death of Jalen Walker, I have never been so sad in my life, and I wouldn't wish this feeling on anybody. This was also a year of big changes in Cleveland sports. The Guardians playing with their new name, and the first time they do it here in Cleveland. From a new era in Cleveland baseball, as the Guardians came out swinging, making it all the way to the playoffs. The Guardians and the Rays playing the longest scoreless game in the history of Major League Baseball. To the Browns' new quarterback. Yesterday, we sat right here at the same time on what's new, and we told you that Deshaun Watson had decided he was not interested in coming to Cleveland. Fast forward 24 hours, we're telling you he is now a Cleveland Brown. Who arrived with plenty of controversy. On the surface, it sounds like they're doubling down. Yeah, definitely doubling down. Not only are these claims not going away, it seems as if more and more keep getting piled on. And the Cavs' big trade. And the Cavaliers have just pulled off, really, the NBA trade of the offseason. They came out of nowhere to land Donovan Mitchell. And a strong start to the season. In high school football, the thing he's focused on, there's a football game here tonight, right? That is so Coach Chuck Kyle, right? Wouldn't expect anything less, right? He's just focused on the game. A fond farewell to a coaching legend. To, to think you can reach goals and then somehow reach him again, I, it's just amazing. Jim, I wouldn't trade a second of my life right now. And a major milestone as Glenville became the first CMSD school to win a football state championship. But we proved to you that we can be just like everybody else. You could tell this is so much more than a football game for him. And rocketing into the future. Excitement around NASA's Artemis mission, putting innovations from Northeast Ohio on the world stage. I'm Betsy Kling at Kennedy Space Center, where today has been quite the roller coaster ride. Through it all, 3 News was there, sharing the big interviews. He just wanted to do a job that would help other people. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it. The investigations that made a difference. Three News advocated for our viewers by lobbying for legislation. To the issues that impact us all. Never expected in the year 2022 that we'd be talking about growing anti-Semitism, but here we are. It's this idea that there can be gains that we can unlock, but only when we come together across lines of race. Thanks for being with us for the stories 
that matter most.